Hi, and welcome to today's show. This exclusive program is brought to you by ChelseaFan12.com. And tonight, Chelsea were held to a 2 2 draw by a stubborn Burnley team as the race for the top four in the Premier League continues. Well, a disappointing night at Stamford Bridge tonight. Chelsea 2 all with Burnley. Chance for the top four. Distinguishing every few minutes, it seems to be putting their own fires out. Ron and Gary are with us. Disappointing, wasn't it? 2 2. Well, I think with the results, uh, with the Arsenal getting beat uh, over the weekend, it was a great opportunity for us to get into third place. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, obviously uh, it's disappointing. But, uh, you know, I, I always think we fit, seem vulnerable to conceding goals. And without being disrespectful to Burnley, you shouldn't be conceding two goals at home to, yeah. to sides like that. A side that doesn't even need the points, they're safe. So they didn't come here desperate for a, for a draw, but they got what they wanted, didn't they? Yeah, they got what they wanted, but you know, you've know, got to give them credit as well. They set up, they had 11 at the back. They defended really, really well. They got us with um, a schoolboy mistake, really, for their, for their second goal, where, where someone's just peeled round the back. Ashley Barnes has peeled round the back, blocked, blocked the marker, and he's just headed it across. And we had three people marking no one. To their, to their person who's just knocked the ball in for the second goal. I mean, it's, it's like a schoolboy error. But we we do look susceptible to high balls and crosses in, 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 into the box. We seem to be letting the goals in on our left-hand side, don't we? Whichever, whichever team comes to Stamford Bridge, it's a goal It's normally on, on our left-back. Well, at least that area. You know, I didn't really realise it'd be true. But, you know, when, when you lose goals, you don't win matches. And, uh, you know... I'm, as, as much as you, we're all disappointed, uh, you know, I don't. You know, without being disrespectful to Burnley, you shouldn't be losing two goals at home to a side that struggled to what they had two or three shots on. Target one shot on target. Two on target. Yeah, well done. One, th- three shots on target. Two goals. Brilliant. That, that's how you want your team to play when you're 200 miles up the M6. Well, do you know what they, they've come here? They've come here to to defend, like you said. They've got nothing to play for, and they, they did very, very well. They're very, very well organised side. It's up to us to try and break them down. I thought our crossing was poor at times uh, tonight, and you're not going to win the ball against 10, 10 people in our own area, you know. So, but it's up to us to try and break them down, and we didn't, you know. And, and, and I thought we we lacked a little bit of quality when we had when we were in good positions to cross the ball and pass the ball we just lacked that little bit of quality tonight I think what's frustrating for most of the Chelsea fans is that when we need a goal we don't change the formation you would have thought with 10 minutes to go you bring on the reserve uh, goal scorer and leave leave Higuain on as well drop one out of the midfield or one out of the back you don't need four at the back they're not going to run at you are they you know you, you've got you got two up there, have a go for it in the last 10 minutes. What? But, but no, takes the centre forward off, brings the centre forward on. Yeah, I mean, bringing on Giroud, if, he, if he'd have gone up with, against the Gwain and, and you play two up front, you change your formation a little bit. But we didn't change our formation. We, it we makes the same. defenders thing, doesn't it, when you've got two up there? Well, of course it does, you know, and you've got more people in the box. But at times when we was passing the, passing the ball around the box, they look really, really comfortable. You know, and they come with their set plan is, is to keep us out. And that's what they did, and they, and, they, and they achieved what they come for, and they got a point. We need a few more players, different personnel. Well, I, think, I don't know about the manager. But <coughs> I think you just it, need to change the formation now and again. Well, I think that, uh, you know, maybe some of the supporters are unhappy with the system that they play here, you, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's been disappointing. Yeah. You know, you, you've got one foot in the grave for, you know, with the result being with the Arsenal losing. And Tottenham yeah. losing yeah. and Man United losing. Uh, Couldn't have been better, you know, really. If we had won tonight, I know we've got a couple of away games, but you'd expect us to be in the top four, which, you know, uh, is where all the big sides and the better sides play than... Uh, the Europa League. I can't even bear to ask you this question. Man United away next. He's not going to go with the false centre forward, is he? But well, that is one massive game for us now. I mean, they've just got they've just got trounced by uh, by Everton four 0 and it, it could have been five, could have been six. And they play City midweek. They play City uh, midweek, which is a, a difficult game for Man U, and then, then we go there. We go to Old Trafford, you know, and it'd be it'd be interesting to see 
I know you've just mentioned there playing without a centre forward. I can see us playing with Hazard up front. I think that's the, the, the way he'll go there. It will be more defensive and try and hit them on the counter all the time. But you, you, with that, with Hazard in the centre, we don't hold the ball up. There's no out ball, is there? Because Higuain holds it up, Giroud holds it up, but no one else can hold it. When these high balls from the from defence, the ball's going to be coming back at us. Well, I think that, as I say, so, you know, we, we can see talk about this, that, and the other. At the end of the day, uh, <clears throat> you know, I don't think we're good enough to finish in the top four. Although it's been put on a plate for us with the results over the yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah. Will we finish in the top four, yes or no? Uh, no. Gary, yes or no? Not sure. Uh, I'm, sitting right, I'm sitting right on the fence. Yeah. You don't know. Uh, everyone lost to give us the boost tonight. We, 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 everyone expected us to win. We, we've drawn. There's, there's going to be ups and downs. It, but mark my word, the, the game against United is one, one massive game for us now. Yeah, we look forward to that somehow. Just don't play a false centre forward, please. To give us all a bit of a break. Thanks to the guys here tonight. We'll be back for the next home game. We've got Watford coming up and Eintracht Frankfurt in the Europa League. We'll see you for one of those. Visit the ChelseaFan12.com website today to keep up with all the latest Chelsea news and statistics. It's also the place to find signed shirts, photos and works of art featuring past and present legends. Sign up for free now at ChelseaFan12.com For the fans. I thought he, he done ever so well today. And when we check out, we, we just make it easy for teams to defend against us. Is that what you sent them home because you weren't out with them? And I'm not being funny. Have you got a bush tucker troll coming up or anything like that? 